Sunday morning. Let's go to Kansas. Last time, I stealth camped alongside the highway just north of Branson, Missouri, on my way to Kansas. Got up the next morning, packed everything up after uh, most of it dried off, but that tarp really disturbed me. It was soaking wet on the inside of the tarp and the outside, and still haven't figured that one out. But I headed north to Kansas, and on the way, I rolled through Nevada, Nevada, Missouri, to get some barbecue. Well, I wound up in Nevada at a place called Buzz's Barbecue. And unfortunately, <laughs> after driving 90 miles, I've discovered that Buzz's is closed on Sunday. Who the hell closes a restaurant on Sunday? Well, I got a hankering for barbecue. I don't know what to do now. Uh, so I just decided to keep rolling. And on the way, I saw a sign for Kansas Rocks. Um, I read before that Kansas Rocks was similar to Monument Rocks, which is basically these salt pillars that just rise out of the basically the desert. And I knew when I turned here that this was probably not gonna be the same kind of concept but uh, I quickly realized turning here that this is uh, more of a um, private enterprise more than just a natural phenomenon. Yeah, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting this audio to settle down. It looks like a nice waveform on the microphone, but it's got an echo and it looks like it's got some kind of reverb going on too. So as soon as I get that shit straightened out, everything will be hunk. -y. Story. The, the fee was, and I just really didn't want to get in there after I paid $20 and be flooded by people and disappointment <laughs> again. So I decided to turn back around and go back to the cemetery that I passed on the way in, which looked very promising. And it turns out that it was a quite a nice way to take a break sitting underneath some big oak trees on a nice breezy day, just getting out of the sun for a few minutes. And, uh, rest in my bones. Uh, I would highly recommend a cemetery for a nice relaxing place to sit as opposed to a city park or something like that. Or there's always screaming kids or barking dogs or something like that. Uh, but this was a really cool little cemetery and I went back to the back corner and charged my batteries and, and recharged my emotional batteries at the same time. It's a nice way to spend part of the afternoon. Appointment number two, I uh, took a uh, detour, I saw a, uh, a sign for what I was thinking was maybe a uh, state-run park, county, something, and uh, turns out it's just a cheesy little tourist trap. What it looked like to me, I, I didn't even give it a shot, I just looked at it and it was just like, ah. So I passed this graveyard on the way in and I thought, I'll stop there on the way out if this sucks, and it sucked, and here I am. This place is magnificent. Look at these old trees. 45 minutes in a graveyard does wonders for your attitude. Spent a few minutes uh, charging my batteries and uh, solar charging my laptop batteries and um, doing a little bit of editing, but just enjoying this nice breeze in the shade. This is pretty amazing. Uh, I'm thinking uh, Zen, a little bit of Zen. Now, when I had to get up off the ground, I sat up over uh, next to the tree here, which was a perfect tree to sit up. But getting up off the ground, I started realizing, okay, a little bit of Zen followed up by, I'm thinking I need some yoga. <laughs> I, I've always kind of chuckled at yoga, but now I'm thinking that's perfect for an old man. In other words, give me your best sales pitch. Tell me why I should be doing yoga as opposed to, well, I've already looked at uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and that's how. I talked to a couple of trainers and they said basically 
the things I didn't want to hear. It's like, yeah, you, you could get hurt. And, uh, I'm out then. I, I got enough sports that I like to uh, practice already that that uh, you're probably not going to get hurt in. Or at least I, I have the uh, I have the, enough knowledge to know what's going to hurt. place to pull over is in the middle of Kansas in the middle of all this farmland this is the first place I've stopped where I could actually pull off the road and throw a tent down but I'm wondering you know if I'm a farmer I'm thinking ah, I mean me ah, yeah you're not doing any damage yeah go ahead and pitch your tent out here but I don't know I don't know what Kansas farmers are like really all I know is these uh, these calves here seem like they're pretty curious as to what's going on and they came in in 1874 this was just wilderness just like this grass here uh -huh. but from Marion Kansas you know where Marion is it's about right. you know. mm -hmm. well they and there's a Mennonite church two miles that way and one south and how to get there they plowed a furrow to follow it to get to the church so there's still a Mennonite church oh yeah still okay. there. yeah so this uh, is this still a Mennonite community yeah sure? this is okay yeah this you heard about the Mennonites I do we yeah. have Mennonites in Alabama yeah <laughs> well that's what I am oh, okay and anyhow yeah yeah I, I found the next 40 acres there with soybeans, but it's all soybeans there. Well, that's what I was trying to figure out what the uh, what the big crop is around here, because it looks a lot different. It looks like it's one single crop when I we see... We had too much rain. We can't get 
the groundwork. That's why that looks at it. That my grandpa owned this ground here. Okay. Right here. Uh-huh. And and finally, I've been plowing this this ground. I've been plowing it with a John Deere tractor years ago when I was a teenager. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, this is you're in Marion County. Maybe. Well it sure is pretty. Have a good night. Thank you. Good talking to you. Thanks yeah. for stopping by. Need me to check you in the morning? We'd be out before eight o'clock, I would think. It just depends on when I wake up. Yeah. It's kind of usually I like to have some coffee and. I can come around eight o'clock and see how you're doing. That'd be fun. Oh. <laughs> I'd love to talk to you again. I might have some fun with the cows this morning while I'm making coffee. Sun's up. It's cold out here. Damn. Had no idea it gets this cold in August in Kansas. It wasn't this cold the last time I was in Kansas. But I figured I would have some fun with the cows this morning. Whoop! Whoop! See how fast I can get them to hustle up over here. Whoop! That's how you call cows. There's my beauty, Miss 65. Isn't she a knockout? Whoop! Whoop! I used to think cows were dumb. Now I know they're dumb. <laughs> Well, that was Norman Schrader that came back by to revisit this morning and he brought some coffee and I, I told him I sure appreciate it, but I've I've already, I was about to drink my second cup here. He's like, how do you do that? He was really amazed at, at all my uh, camping gear and he had tons of questions. How do you get all this stuff on the bike? How do you cook? What do you eat? Where's your money? coming from how did you work he was he was really interested in in my travels he is 93 years old grew up on his farm his grandfather bought this land in 1874 and he worked it he's worked it since uh since then and uh he's plowed all these fields really interesting guy and very sweet uh, sweet old gentleman. Looks like he's getting around pretty good for 93. I guess there's a lot to be said about farm life. Well, as soon as the, my uh, stuff dries out, I'm going to pack up and hit the road. Monument Rocks is next. Ten o'clock, Monday morning. Crap's dried out, packed up on the bike. And I am headed to see some chalk pyramids. Let's go. Woo! I'm starting to think the most dangerous part of my journey is not going to be on the highway. It's going to be breaking camp, getting out of camp with all this stuff squished up against my back. I see myself dying, squished underneath this big heavy buffalo. <laughs> all this plastic. 